In today's shapeshift.io tutorial, I'm gonna show you how the app works and how to use both the app as well as the desktop interface to exchange one cryptocurrency for another. Hey guys, what's up? This is Eric of Investing Apps TV. And on this channel, we talk investing apps, investing tutorials, and investing principles. So if you're new here today, definitely feel free to subscribe to catch future videos just like this one. Real quick guys, before I start with today's tutorial video, I just wanna mention if you're new to shapeshift.io, feel free to first check out my review of it. It's right, I'll link it right up here in the card as well as down below. That's actually part one of my shapeshift.io review series. This is part two of the series, the tutorial. So if you've already seen my review and you're ready to get started, let's get to it. All right guys, so here we are now on the shapeshift.io exchange on the website. So first I'm gonna show you how to do this, then I'll show you how to exchange on the mobile app. So on the homepage of the website, it's very simple. Again, there's no account to create, you don't have to sign up. Simply go to this box right here on the homepage where it says, choose which assets to trade. There's a deposit box and a receive box. The deposit box is the cryptocurrency you're gonna be sending, and the receive box is gonna be the cryptocurrency that you're gonna be receiving in return. So I'm gonna click on deposit here. So in today's example, I'm gonna send some uh, Bitcoin for some Ethereum in return. So again, you could choose from any one of these cryptocurrencies. There's many to choose from, but just for today's example, I wanna show you, I'm gonna send some Bitcoin, and I'm gonna click now on receive, and I wanna go down to my cryptocurrency of choice. In this example, it's gonna be Ethereum. Okay, so now I'm sending Bitcoin to receive Ethereum. So it's a pretty straightforward process here. Next, it's gonna ask you if you wanna do quick or precise. Quick is for if you wanna do a very quick transaction, but I like to do precise amount because I like to send a precise amount, but you can do either one. Uh, so I'm gonna click precise and continue. Now on this next page, it's gonna ask you to enter a deposit amount. How much do you wanna exchange? And it will give you an equivalent amount it's gonna return for you in the other cryptocurrencies. So let's say I now wanna send them 0 0.00, we'll say 0 0.002 Bitcoin, okay? And in exchange for that, you see it instantly converted it. I'm now gonna receive back 0 0.04682504 Ethereum in return for that. So before I go on, I just wanna explain a few things. On the top here, you see your rate. This is the current exchange rate. Uh, one Bitcoin currently equals 23.91 Ethereum at the time of this filming in this video and basically right here it says how much i'm depositing this is the recap i'm depositing 0 0.002 bitcoin to get this much ethereum right here 0 0.0468 ethereum and as you can see there's a small minor fee of 0 0.001 ethereum a very small amount but again, the great thing is this fee is not from Shapeshift directly. There's no fee from them. This fee is the minor fee required by the network that the, the miners require. So it's a very small fee. Basically, the next step is now they want you to enter your Ethereum address, the destination address. So the address that I want to receive the Ethereum. So basically my Ethereum wallet. So in this example, you could use any wallet, but I'm going to my Coinbase wallet and I'm going to click on my Ethereum. I'm going to go to accounts. I'm going to click on my Ethereum wallet and I want to click on receive. So you can scan this QR code or you can simply copy and paste it. I'm gonna copy and paste, copy. I'm gonna go back to Shapeshift. I'm now gonna paste that address, okay? Now the next uh, box says your Bitcoin refund address. This is your Bitcoin wallet address. In the event the transaction doesn't go through for any reason, you'll receive your Bitcoin or other cryptocurrency back to your address, uh, the full amount for any reason the transaction doesn't go through. So you wanna put your return address just in case, your refund address. So I'm gonna go back to my Coinbase wallet. I'm gonna click now on my Bitcoin wallet and click on receive. Likewise, I'm gonna copy that Bitcoin address I'm gonna paste that into the box here, okay? Then simply just from there, agree to the terms and start transaction. You're basically set, it's now starting. Now, as you can see, there's a small clock up in the top right corner right here where it says time remaining 444. This is just showing you how much time you have to complete the transaction before the exchange rate uh, changes. So to, this is will lock in the current exchange rate. So I basically wanna copy this address right here. It's telling me to send this amount of Bitcoin to this address because I requested that much I wanna send. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go back to my Coinbase wallet, go to my Bitcoin wallet, and click on send this time. And where it says enter a BTC address, I'm gonna right click and paste my address in there. And basically I can uh, scan the QR code or paste it in there. And it's gonna ask you how much do you wanna send? Well, I said I wanna send them 0 0.002 Bitcoin. So I'm gonna do 0 0.002 Bitcoin. And basically from there, I'm gonna click continue. All right, so the transaction has been sent now from my Coinbase wallet. As you can see, your transaction is on its way. You sent 0 0.002 Bitcoin. And now as you can see in my Coinbase wallet, it's just pending because it's waiting for confirmations from the network. And if I go back to Shapeshift, 
It's already moved on from pending confirmations to now awaiting exchange. So we're now in the second step. This is a very fast process. Right now it's 3.39 p.m. And as you can see on the bottom, it's just a small recap again of the transaction. This is the address that again I'm depositing to and I'm gonna receive back Ethereum. So basically now it's just awaiting exchange. And if you go back to your Coinbase wallet or whichever wallet you're sending from, you can always click on where it says view transaction. It will open up the transaction on the blockchain. So you could see currently it has zero of six confirmations. This usually takes about, you know, 10 to 20 minutes or so for to receive six confirmations. But right now, again, we're just awaiting exchange. OK, guys, so it's now been about five minutes since I sent the Bitcoin to Shapeshift. And as you can see, the process is now complete. It's gone from pending confirmations to exchange complete. And now it's all done. Uh, your Ethereum has been sent. Your Ether was sent. So you can always click here to see it on the blockchain. But you can also go back to your main wallet. And I'm going back to my Coinbase wallet. I'm going to click on my Bitcoin, my Ethereum wallet to confirm that I received it. And I have, as you could see, I received the Ethereum uh, 0.04684683 Ethereum. And again, it's just pending confirmations from the network. All right, guys, so about 10 more minutes have passed now. And back on my Coinbase wallet, if I click back on my most recent activity in my Ethereum wallet, the transaction has now confirmed, been confirmed by the network. It's now, as you can see, completed. I have officially received that 0 0.04684683 Ethereum in exchange for the Bitcoin. So that's a pretty awesome process. So that pretty much is how you do an exchange on the shapeshift.io website. Now I'm going to show you how to do a similar exchange on the shapeshift.io app. So hang on one second. All right, guys. So we're now opening up the shapeshift.io app on my phone. So as you can see, it's a very similar interface to the uh, website. Again, it's just very simple four screens on this app. Basically, all you really need is the home screen to send out the transactions. So again, the first box says deposit. So this is just what cryptocurrency do you want to send? So in this case, I want to send that Ethereum that I just received. So I'm going to click on Ethereum and I want to receive back Bitcoin just to show you that it can you can trade both ways. So it's already set to Bitcoin, but it, you could really choose any cryptocurrency you want. But again, in this example, I want to receive Bitcoin back. So now, much like the website, it's asking you to put in a receive address. So this is the address where you want to receive your cryptocurrency. So I want to go to my Coinbase wallet now again. And again, like I said, you can use any cryptocurrency wallet. So I'm going to go to my Bitcoin wallet and I'm going to click on the receive button. I'm going to copy that address. I'm now going to hop back to the Shapeshift app and I'm going to paste that address in the box. All right. And now I'm going to click on the shift button, the giant green button where it says shift and it's now loading, starting shift. All right. And again, as you can see on the top that has the current exchange rate, one Ethereum is currently worth 0.04 Bitcoin. And now it's awaiting deposit, as you could see. So as you can see, it has a deposit address. I'm going to copy that address. That's where they want you to send the cryptocurrency. I'm now going to hop back to my Coinbase wallet, go over to my Ethereum wallet, and I'm going to click on the send button. I'm now going to go to Ethereum. And I want to click on use max because I want to send all my Ethereum that I just received, the 0 0.0468 Ethereum. I'm now going to click continue. All right. And now where it says two, you, it says you could type in an email or an Ethereum address. So I'm going to paste that address I just copied on the Shape Shift app. And that's basically it. You can add an additional note here if you want, but you don't have to. I'm now going to send, click the send button. It's now sending. All right sent 0.04 ethereum so it's been sent now that's pending now i'm now going to hop over back to the shapeshift app and shortly it should update here so the time now is currently 402 and i'm going to see how long this takes all right so now it's uh, 402 and it's still the same time and i just it just moved now to received and it's now awaiting exchange so it's already on the second step so the app is really just as fast as the website as you can see it now the screen now shows 0 0.0464 ethereum received the shapeshift is now in progress stand by so they really let you know along the way so you know how everything's going and again i'm just awaiting the final step till it's complete and i will let you guys know when that is all right so now it's 403 so it's really just been one minute later and as you can see the shift is now complete shift complete 0.0011592 bitcoin have been delivered to you transaction stored on your device so it's awesome it's really been that fast you can always click here to see it on the blockchain if you'd like you can email a re transaction receipt or you could simply click on do another exchange and it's really complete so now if i go back to my coinbase wallet and go to my bitcoin wallet all right here it is received 0.001 bitcoin all right, now it's just pending. And again, Shapeshift has done their end. This is just pending the confirmations from the network that's required. But basically, the transaction has been processed. It's all done. And it's really that easy. So if I go now back to my Shapeshift app, uh, again, you can always click on this little button here that will show you uh, past addresses you used if you want to use them in the future. And if you click on these arrows, that'll show you your most recent transactions through the app. 
But overall, guys, it was a really fast process. Again, there was no account sign up, no email address, no password. I just went in there. The transaction was very fast. And now, like I said, it'll probably take about another five to 10 to 15 minutes before the network has confirmed it. And the Bitcoin is officially in my Coinbase wallet. But uh, that's basically it, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And that pretty much sums up how to use the shapeshift.io app as well as the website interface. If you found today's video helpful, definitely feel free to subscribe to catch future videos. I post new weekly videos on more investing app reviews, investing tutorials, and investing principles. And if you would like to see some of my other cryptocurrency app reviews, feel free to check out my playlist of those right over here to the right. Lastly guys, if you have any questions about the shapeshift.io app or the website and how to use them, feel free to leave your questions down below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.